People held him like this, like on the street. How am I gonna open this? You know, like, well, I'm not gonna do that. I don't even know how to use this anymore. Is it making noises? We are more connected than ever these days. We listen to music, we check our email, we take photos, we do just about everything on this device. We decided to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane. First up, the boom box. I don't even know how to do it anymore. What was like very cool about the boom box is it was almost kind of like a statement and it brought music to the street. Even today, you look at something like the jam box, it's almost like kind of a, a throwback to, to the boom box. Yeah! So the boom box was this very like social, everyone listening to music together type experience, but it was heavy and sometimes you just want to be alone with your music. So that kind of paved way also for the Walkman. Oh my God, these are kind of big. There we go. This completely changed the way we dealt with music, right? The commercials show people like running around, jumping, and it seems kind of laughable now, but like this was the first kind of device that enabled you to do that. This paved the way for our smartphones where we're just listening to music and streaming music online. Walking around, kind of bopping around. I didn't do that, I didn't do that. Virtual reality is like all the rage these days, but in the 90s, Nintendo was onto something. Nintendo actually came out with their own virtual reality headset. It was called Virtual Boy. It didn't succeed, it was a flop, but it did kind of pave the way for other types of virtual reality devices. Now, if you look at it, you got Oculus. The company sold to Facebook for uh, a couple billion dollars, and now they're trying to revolutionize this idea that virtual reality can have a future. <clears throat> Super Mario Brothers. This is like the game of all games. I remember playing Super Mario Brothers. I forget if I was Mario or Luigi, but I think I definitely dressed up as one of them for Halloween. So Nintendo basically revolutionized this idea of gaming with their at-home gaming console. Now we all play games on our smartphones. Nintendo recently announced that they're actually gonna be bringing some of their characters, their games, to your smartphone. That's the future. Before there was Instagram, and you could just take a photo on your phone and just see it, there was the instant photo. Boom. Instead of going, taking a picture, and then having to go develop it, it was kind of this instant gratification. You gotta do this, and wait. It's just this idea that you could be around the dinner table with your friends, and then you wanna get a picture, and you want it now. That's what Polaroid did, which is something that was very revolutionary at the time, and it definitely paved ways for these companies like Instagram. How long does it take? We have our smartphones, and we have Facebook, and Twitter, and Instagram. But before all of these technologies, there's technology that inherently changed the way we interacted, how we consumed music, how we took photos. So what we're seeing now is a little bit of kind of a reinvention of technology. There's actually a case for the iPhone that enables you to print photos. You have uh, all sorts of different types of Bluetooth speakers that are looking more and more like kind of an old school uh, boombox. These are the devices that came before and these are the ones that kind of make you remember when things were a little bit more tangible. And that's gonna be a market in the future.